you on the phone to buy the hell of a guy So here's my reply, just take a little gander red out I set the standard for fly, I might regret it in the morning when I'm broke But see it, all the drinks is on now, yeah I make it back tomorrow Cause that money come and go, and yes I'm very patriotic Presidents be at my door, so I'ma let it blow it's your boy Sparks, uh, chilling down here, you know, in my city, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Growing up, born and raised. Uh, we're getting ready to celebrate my release party down here, chilling with the caretakers and the city TV with Big Mike Mike. So we're about to go down. Alright, how I got my name was, uh, really I was just sitting around trying to think of what, what I could do. And uh, when I was rapping, it, it's really a deep, a deep story behind it, kind of, like, pops and shit like he don't really get down with the rap music as far as like derogatory and all that but that's just you know what I like to do so I was like I wanted to use my name because everybody already know me by my name but um I was like last name is Flint and I was you know I was gonna use D Flint came up as D Sparks and uh because shit when a flint strike against rock it makes sparks that's and I came up with it and I was like that way I can still you know incorporate it with my name and who I am but you know it's not you know, don't go reflect on my family name like that. So, uh, just it's true. Bro. And then shit, just messing around with people, talking to people that put a Z on the end of it and just drop the D. And it's just been sparks ever since. Uh, well, shit, I've been, I guess, rapping since about, was about uh, 10th grade. I guess, but I've been rhyming as far as like poetry wise and this and that, you know, writing down little poems, trying to, you know, get a little girlfriend here and there. But, uh, and then we was chilling outside, we was chilling full basketball practice with PC actually. And uh, they was down there beating on the table and uh, S Money saw he was uh, down there rapping one day. And uh, so I had been trying to do it by myself in the mirror or whatever. He, he ran short. And I was like, well, I can do it. And I hopped in and just started rapping and shit. It's been on and popping ever since. So, you know, as far as then, it was like a uh, just a hobby. And then uh, watching the caretakers do that, you do y'all thing, actually hit up PC. It was like, how you make beats and all this. And uh, started grinding with him. And then Mad Dream with the MBT started going over there. And they dropped the first mixtape. Uh, down South mixtapes, actually. It was on that first mixtape with them. And been going hard here in the downtown music scene with bands and ever since for the last year. So I guess it's been since about 2002. Uh, musical influence, I guess the first first CD or CD I had, the old CD I had was actually Criss Cross. So I like to go back to them young dudes doing it. And then uh, I got a uh, on tape too. I guess it wasn't a CD, both of them was tape. Uh, nothing but a G thing. And then my first full, like, front of the CD I snuck and got with Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I listened to that for every day for like two years straight. So I guess go back to Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's like way back in the day. Then right now, I guess, like Jay Z, Eminem, you know, all the greats, Tupac. I just got up on Biggie, I'm sorry to say. But now, now, like, I'm trying to incorporate what he did in my rhymes now. And a lot of local talent, like, right here, people that I'm trying to be like them, you know, but try to bring my own own style by incorporating everything else and people being successful successful and that's good at what they do. I think I'm bringing diversity as far as everything goes. So, I mean, artists get stuck in, like if you're an artist, like they get stuck in one mode, like they got to continue to do it. I mean, I understand you want to make money and you made money off that first hit that, you know, you was Lean in the rock, and you want to make they, everybody want to make a lean and rock song every time. And uh, just the way I came up, see, I lived lived you know in in the city and in the suburbs. You know, played with this inner city, got to go to private school so I can I mean, kick it with drug dealers to make as kids. So I you know can speak on any any subject I want to pretty much, and don't have to get checked about it. You know, so I just try to bring diversity. Up. Hip-hop today is, uh, it's kind of hard to speak. It's more of a business, I say now. I mean, you still got underground things here and there that's still going up a little bit of attention, but by all means, get your money, 
Soldier Boy, you way to the top. I don't, I don't mean, I'm not knocking Soldier Boy, you still gonna do, you got that hustling, like, that's the way to grind and get it, you know? But, yeah, he did that, but everybody else is trying to do the same thing, come up with a YouTube dance. So it's kind of like, it's not even looked at as an art form anymore. Like, people don't really care what they say, they just want to make a dance, put it on TV, you know, put it on YouTube, whatever. That's how I feel about hip hop right now. So it's, it's up in the air, people don't know what they want to do. It seemed like it got it on a comeback with some of the new talent that's coming out that was uh, featured in the magazine, you know, like um, Asheroff, uh Charles Hamilton, Cord Guns, and V.O.B., uh, all them. That's really a hard question, like, with Chattanooga, like, you got so much, nobody wants to work with each other or, you know, and it ain't no back scratching going on. Come to like, check. What people don't know is if we can get like just one person to blow up and just come back and show love shit, somebody will come back looking looking for the next thing to come out of Chattanooga, you know? That's why we, like, we go back to the hip hop thing. I mean, you see how the business is. If one thing blows up, they gonna try to flood the market with it. So if one person out of Chattanooga blow up, they gonna so come back and try. Everybody just gotta scratch each other back and quit. Trying to bring each other down and crab in the bucket center. Uh, oh god. It, it'll depend on the song and who on the song. And because if it's like if I'm just on there with some dude, whatever, I can write a 16 in five minutes. You know, if I'm on there with one of y'all, I feel like I gotta hold my own. You know, gotta put some really thought and creativity into it. So that could be like shit, 30 minutes to an hour. Because uh, you know, most of the time, I, now, I try not to write it down because it helps my delivery if I just already have it remembered. So, you know, I drink a lot, so my memory, <laughs> my memory be hurting me. Yes, they all down here doing this, but there ain't no hip-hop artists down here doing this. And all our hip-hop shit gets shut down. You know, you do your first part, you know, somebody fighting it, like, everybody yeah. got to go. You can spend your money and lost your money. Yeah. Down here... You know, it's straight love. My people, but shit, white folks know how to party. That's you know, true. They just drink and chill and have a good time. You know, you spill a beer on each other, they be like, damn, I get you another one. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, of course, the caretakers. Shouts out to MBT and most definitely Valley Boy Entertainment, Mr. 423, the instigator. Muddy Water, Big Ups, CQ, Solo. Uh, Swap Daddy will be helping me out with the promotion thing, you know, he on it. And uh, the rest of the chat, everybody's doing their thing. Shout out to Jet and uh, Digital Butter, they're doing their thing tonight. Uh, too bad Taz out of the M-Town, look out for young Taz doing the beast too. Uh, anybody I miss, uh, I'm sorry, but you know what I'm saying, like I said, that alcohol gets you every time. But anyway, uh, shout out to my city, right?